What's up, warriors? Welcome back to Year Walk. So now we gotta go. I think these symbols are the runes, and are there just three? One, two, three. So if I remember this, I can remember how they connect. So we got six, three on each side. Might as well go up. Okay. So, top two, middle two, bottom left. So, top left, right, middle, bottom left, up, top right. It's so basically that. I'm a fish, but to the left. Got it. Is there anything else I need to know? This just has one eye. So I don't know if that's significant or not. But let's go to the other one. Alright. Also one eye. So... Boom, boom, boom. So literally the same thing, but instead of going up, it's going down to the bottom right. Got it. Uh, also one eye, so maybe that doesn't matter as much. Starting from the bottom, up, top right, over to the top left, down to the middle right, down to the bottom. Got it. We go back to the big rune stone now. Okay, so let's try... Uh, I don't know if the order matters. Let's just try doing one first. Okay, so we just gotta light him up. Light him up. Alright, next one is... Here. And then... Same thing. But this. Oh! L left or left left? Right? Is it left or left left? Left right left. Right. Right left right. Right. Left. Right. Left, right, left, right, right, left, right. Got it. Got it. Left. Right. Left. Right. Right. Left. Right. Who?
the music is so pretty! We got the church and the, the house or cabin. I'm trying to spin you up. Oh, okay. can't be changed the future can't The decision has already been made. Which decision is that exactly? Okay, wait, I think I got it. I got it.
You must stop coming here. You must. Well, I see the windmill back here. Oh, it's back there too. Wait a second. <gasps> oh. Oh. Was she saying she didn't love me anymore? Or was that me and I killed her? How did she die? It's beautiful. I'm a little confused though. That's lovely. Written it all down? Everything that happened... It can be changed. Deliver the message. The journal. The secret is hidden. North of the mill. South of the brook. Remember. A secret. North of the mill. South of the brook. Remember a secret. North of the mill. South of the brook. Walk again? Now hold on just a minute. Was that the future I was seeing? And there's a way to change that future. Is 
that... Is that right? Is that what that means? North of the mill, south of the brook. North of the mill? The... 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 68? 1894. Oh... The... The... Oh, the... Wait. The... 68. 1894. North of the mill, south of the brook. Theo Alm 68 and 1894. What? Theodore's posts? Ah. August 4th. Hello, new system. It works. Testing photo upload. Should probably write here more often. Write about every book on Swedish folklore there is. Surprised how little has been written about year walking. Need more sources of information. Talk to ES. He suggested some field work might be good, but I feel that I might be 30 years too late. Been talking to elderly folks, eating cookies and drinking coffee. Their knowledge about year walking has been limited, to say the least. Barely any of them knew what it was. If they did, they had heard stories as children but forgotten the details. Thinking ES sent me on a wild goose chase. Interviews at the retirement home. May I never grow old. The last interview was intriguing, if very brief. Talked to one Astrid Jansen. She was over a hundred years old. Clear at times. Did not know a lot about folklore. But she did claim that her grandfather's brother had once year walked. Sadly, she did not know his name. He had died many years before she was born. Might have to look into it. Her maiden name was Fenson, which leaves me with a lot of possibilities. She was born in Vedtorp. And I can only hope that her grandfather was as well. More interviews, nothing worth mentioning. Professor Asp called today. He hinted that the faculty wanted to take part in my research. September 2nd. Followed up on my visit to the retirement home in the early 20th century, there were six households in Vedtorp with the surname Svensson. According to the church book, Ashford was born in 1913. Her grandfather was named Carl Frederick. He had two brothers. One died in 1942. The other brother, Daniel Svensson, died in 1895. Since Ashford said that her great uncle died before she was born, Daniel is the one that supposedly year walked. A Miller apprentice. Going to the library to check out old newspapers tomorrow. Looked for a reference of Dan Daniel Svensson in old newspapers. I'm grasping at straws. Another day at the library. Nothing of interest. Bored. About to give up. September 9th. Excited! Newspapers finally mentioned Daniel Svensson. He was apparently arrested for the murder of a young woman in Vedtorp. Information is scarce. Her name was St Stina? Stina? Nielsen, and she was a Miller's daughter. Her body was found on a field outside of the village. She had been stabbed multiple times. The library should be open longer. Hope I can find any reference to his supposed year walk. Miller's daughter. The girl at the windmill. Field outside the village. Oh, the motive behind the murder seems to have been jealousy. Not many details. Apparently, Stina was going to marry a Lucas Tapper. She was on her way home from Lucas' parents when she was intercepted by Daniel. She was found the following morning, just 17 years old. I feel a tad guilty about my excitement yesterday. 
After all, there's a great tragedy behind all this. The press seemed to have lost interest in the case after a while. Found nothing today. Maybe ES can tell me something. September 15th. Had a long talk on the phone with ES. The murder case was unknown to him. He had, however, spent a lot of time in Vedtorp during the 60s when he studied folklore in the area. There had been a rather peculiar runestone that seemed to predate the Viking Age. ES claims that there was a definite connection between the symbols on the stone and year walking. He could not tell how. Want to check it out. Went to the library again, in case I missed something about Daniel. Indeed, I had. Found another article. Feeling upset and a little bit sad. Borrowed the article just in case. Perhaps there's more to learn about Daniel. Booked a hotel room in Vedtorp. I don't know if you want to be going there. September 26th. Arrived in Vedtorp. It's a small place. One street cuts through the village. It's a rather depressing place. To be fair, the weather would not do any place justice. The hotel is empty besides me and a group of dog toy manufacturers who are a bit on the noisy side. Must ask chef for the veal recipe. Got a map from the hotel owner. Excited about the archive. Have the feeling that I will find something major. I have a feeling something bad is going to happen to you. Just got back from the archive. An interesting place. Sadly, it's only open four hours a day. It's understandable since I was the only visitor. Possibly found the files I need tomorrow, reading and lots of it. I knew it. The archive has exceeded my wildest dreams. On New Year's Eve, year 19, 1893, Daniel Svensson did indeed year walk. The court records the court records refer to his year walk at several occasions. I've just started to scratch the surface. There must be beliefs hidden among these papers that have been forgotten for ages. Amazing. This is by far the latest recorded year walk. I hope I'm excused for borrowing the, f borrowing the file from the archive. They gave me little choice since they are closed during the weekend. September 29th. Could not sleep last night. Too excited by the files. Much of the records are of a legal nature, but there are relevant passages. Daniel claimed he knew that he would murder Stina, Stina sorry, after seeing it in a vision on his year walk. Sadly, the scribe has not bothered to take it all down and occasionally just refers to it as ramblings of a madman. Poor boy, there are certain elements that are new to me. Must write them down in detail later on. Need fresh air. Daniel's cabin, Solsorten, is briefly mentioned in the protocol. We'll ask around about it. Hope it still exists. box september 30th the box drove around for hours in the forest today these are woods to get lost in asked for the directions from every local most people never heard of the cabin was about to give up when i met an old man his aunt had lived there till the 60s from then it had three different owners that used it as a summer house until the mid 80s the last family that owned the cabin only stayed there one summer their five-year-old son drowned in a brook nearby, and after that, they never returned. Nobody has lived there since. The old man's nephew owned the land. I asked the old man if I could pay it a visit. He did not think there could be anyone that would mind. The cabin is situated deep into the forest. No sign, no road, just a narrow path. This was the place where he started his year walk over a hundred years ago. Felt overwhelmed by the thought, could not enter. It's a lonely place. The only other building I could find in the area was an underground storehouse. Guess it might have belonged to the cabin. It was too dark to see anything, but I can't imagine there would be anything of significance in there. On my way back to the car, I found this strange box. What an odd thing to leave in the middle of the forest. Seems to be in more or less mint condition. Could not resist taking it. Tonight I need whiskey and lots of it. October 1st. Went to Vedtorp Church today. It's a small white stone church built in the 12th century. The place where the church stands has been used for worship even earlier than that. According to the priest I met, he showed me around the premises. Put a bouquet of flowers on Stina's grave. Seems appropriate. The almost unlikely somber epitaph re read. In memory of our loving daughter, 
Stina Nielsen, 1877 to 1894. Her cries for mercy could not sway his hand. <laughs> the pressing searched for Daniel's grave, but there was no stone, and according to the priests, there probably never was. The gravestones E.S. told me about are gone. The priest is not sure where they are or when they disappeared. Is he under the church? Is he under the church? October 2nd. Weather has been unreasonably bad. Spent the day at the county archive. Had trouble concentrating. Tried to locate a photograph of Daniel Svensson, but no luck. The clerk explained that a lot of stuff was lost when the files were moved from the regional archive back in 1976. Apparently, there was another murder case in Vedtorp in the early 1890s. A Lisa Rasmussen drowned four infants in a creek. She was an angel maker who received foster children from poor unmarried mothers. Lisa promised to find the babies good homes in exchange for a hefty sum of money. This was all a charade. As soon as the mothers had paid what little they owed, she drowned their children in a nearby creek. All files from that trial have been lost. Outrageous. I think I'm done with the archive. I've been thinking a lot about that church. October 3rd. October 3rd. Strange day. The runestone ES talked about is not marked on any map. Talked to the man at the service station. He drew me a rather primitive map. Searched for the stone for a long time, almost gave up, found it at last, felt compelled to touch it, had the strangest sensation of looking beyond. Beyond what? The feeling lasted for quite some time. <sighs> Strange stones lying in forests. Not good. No touchy. Heading home tomorrow. Wish I had more time. This stone is old. Might predate Christianity, but I failed to see how it is connected to year walking. Could not resist stopping by the church on my way home. Walked around it for a bit. It's a pretty church. Not remarkable, but there's something about it. Feel that the church and the stone are connected somehow. What the heck? What the heck? October 4th. Oh, found the box when I unpacked. Had almost forgotten about it. It seems to have some lock-like construction, but I've yet to understand exactly what it is or how to open it. It reminds me of one of those puzzle boxes. The wheel with the symbol suggests it's open opened by entering a password. It must be old. Maybe ES knows something about it. Decided not to tell ES about the box. He might not appreciate that I took it with me. He's always nagging me about ethics. Busy week, classes and meetings. This fac faculty is really getting in the way of my research. Feeling a bit strange. I've had weird dreams ever since I came back from Vedtorp. Let's party, Theo. Call ASP. Call E. Eb. Prepare lecture. Swedish. Uh, it's a goat with striped boxers. And a raven with a bikini top and tidy whities October 8th. Dreamt that I was in a vast wasteland. I was searching for the keys to my locker together with Jenny from high school. We laughed and dug in the sand. Suddenly the sky lit up and Jenny pointed to a simple constellation of stars. She whispered in my ear to never forget it. Triangle? Is that what that is? I asked her what it meant, but she was dead and her bones were withered and old. Woke up and have been feeling rather queasy ever since. October 10th, read an account of a year walk by a man called Romadal in an old book I came over in a used bookshop. Romadal's story is little more than a tall tale told by a drunken oaf. Most of them seem to be. Daniel sticks out. It haunts me. Held a lecture on year walking. Several faculty members attended it. They ridiculed me in front of the students. Another strange dream. Was doing my homework. Was stressed because the oil lamp was running out of oil. And when it did, the pale horse outside the window would come inside. The lamp burned out and everything went black. Woke up. 
soaked in sweat. Hasten. October 16th. Must remember to buy groceries. Fiddled with the box. I have no clue how to open it. Frustrating. October 18th. What jealous, small-minded, greedy creatures the faculty members are. And they will undoubtedly create small-minded, jealous, and greedy students. Don't feel the need to share any of my research with the faculty anymore. They don't deserve to read something that my hand has written. They would not understand anyway. The thought of what's inside that box is like an itch that can't be scratched. I've searched for references to anything about it, but I have found nothing that resembles it at all. Having more strange dreams, something happened in those woods. October 23rd. Is your walking a mere vision quest? Are the visions brought on by lack of light and food? E.S. believes so. Not so sure. Dreamt of the runestone. Was in the forest outside Vedtorp. Mrs. Bowman was walking up to me. I was very afraid. She said that I had been a bad boy and broken the rules. Before I could defend myself and tell her that I did not mean to be naughty, she withered into dust. Found myself in front of the rune stone. The Grimm's eyes glowed at me. Woke up. October 26th. Find myself thinking of the stone. What does it mean? How is it connected to year walking? What did people do in those woods? Do not feel like sleeping tonight, drinking coffee, and watching TV. If I stay awake, those dreams will stay away. Cannot understand much of my students' presentations today. Must sleep. Someone is watching me all the time. Got an email reminder to deliver the text for the game. Wrote seven or eight pages. Hopefully it's enough. Waiting. Don't know for what. Have a feeling that something is on its way. October 30th. Received an odd email today. Uh, it looks like a bunch of zeros in a half moon, or a half circle shape. Got over a thousand of these during last night. The email seemed to have stopped when my inbox was full. Don't know what it could mean. Maybe it's a prank by my students, but they seem too unimaginative to come up with something like this. Don't think it will end here. November 2nd. Is it some kind of threat? Called the priest, told him of my plight. He said that Vedtorp sometimes had a strange effect on people, but it rarely lasted. Do not think he understands. I was going to ask him about the box, but decided to hang up when he suggested I should see someone. Woke up last night. Heard baby screams from beneath the floorboards. Panicked. Managed to pry up some of the floorboards. The screaming stopped. The Watchers, the Night Raven, the Holdra, the Brook Horse, and the Church Grim. There might be others, cannot be sure. Can they disguise themselves? Maybe they can read my mind. The Watchers, because they watch, that's what they do, but is it all they do? November 11th. Year walk equals system error. Year walking works, but it was never meant to. It's against the rules. Universe blinked its eye and someone crossed all barriers that are known as time and space. The Watchers are watching, but who are watching the Watchers? How can you bend time and space? Between time and space? Rift? Beyond the rift? Nature? Wood doll? Horse? Baby? Raven? Goat? Church? Caught in a heated argument with E.S., he is surprisingly scornful of my theories. Must remember that he is an old man and he might not be as open to new ideas any longer. He claims that it is impossible to gaze into the future. The future is not set. Nothing happens until it happens. Of course, it's impossible to look into the future according to logic, but I'm not sure they are playing according to our rules. Who's they? The Watchers are more than they appear. Unless. They are real, yet they are unreal. They do not exist in the manner that this table and this chair exist. 
How do I know these things? Are they my thoughts? Am I writing this? I certainly did not draw this, but yet it's right there in my notebook. It's just a solid scribbled in square. Watchers or antibodies? Universe, time, space, rift, grim, raven is pointing to the hands, smiling, right leg, past left leg. Daniel broke the rules and he was punished. Held another lecture, the last one for a long time, for a long while it seems, it's been decided that I need a break, but it matters not, have more important things to do. I've been an idiot. Someone is playing with me. These shapes. It's the same as on the box. Did someone see me take it? Tried the symbols I have received, but the box remains shut. There must be more coming. It's 10, 30, 10, 19, 11? Uh, 8th of October, 30, what is, 30th of October, 19th of November? Is that what that is? Woke up last night, the telephone rang. Answered. Could not hear anyone. Hung up. It rang again. Answered. Could hear someone speak on the other side. Could not make out what was being said. The voice was too far away. Hung up. It kept ringing. Cut the cord. November 26th. Bought whiskey. Bought food. People stare. Don't want to go out there again. Too many know who I am. If you break the rules, there will be consequences. Wish I had not cut the cord to my phone. Need to hear a human voice. Don't dare go out. At first, I didn't even notice. One of the paintings in my living room has been replaced. It must have happened during the 30 minutes I slept. Cannot let my guard down. Someone was here. Or something. Will the antibodies come for me? Am I a virus in the eye of the universe? Boarded up the balcony and all the windows. Nothing can come in now, I hope. December 1st. Shouldn't be possible, but someone was here again. I'm definitely being threatened. There was a knife on my kitchen table. Old, but sharp. I realize that the knife is his. We are connected. Who, Daniel? Who? Yes. The church is central to this, and yet it is not. Perhaps the church itself is not important, but rather the energy of the place. Perhaps the gate is always there, but it's not a gate. Gates are meant to be open, or closed. This is a rift in the fabric of the very existence of everything, but why allow it? Why does the universe or God or someone not shut the gate? If we're not meant to do it, why let us? I can hear the heart of the universe beating. What is happening? I feel like a worm under a big boot. I feel the shadow hanging over me, waiting to get crushed. December 6th. She sings, and I shall follow. She's trying to fool me. That I know, but I must get closer to her, because then I get closer to the key that leads to the heart of it all. I didn't steal the box because it begged me to take it with me. December 8th. Daniel survived all the watchers sent by the universe. He was lured by the temptress, brought the innocence to the pale horse, unearthed the parasite, and finally faced the master of them all, but yet he was destroyed. Could it have gone any other way? Was he doomed from the start? Am I doomed? Is the future set, or can it be altered? Master goat, master gatekeeper, raven, henchman, parasite, baby, man-made angels, brook horse, Fairy maid, fairy man, wooden doll, temptress, running errands or a test of might. Must help him. It's the right thing to do. There's a bond between us. Might have figured it out. Five watchers, five symbols, which means there is one more coming. So tired. Can't seem to hold my thoughts for any period of time. Should probably eat more often, but I must resist. It's important that I come prepared. No, the heart beats stronger, but I will break it and see beyond everything. December 13th. 
In the end, it was the nature of man that got Daniel. Must free myself of all desires. That's how they get you. Can love really be a weakness or is it strength? And the poor girl, it just seems unfair. Is there anything I can do? If the future can be altered, why not the past? Am I playing the part of the fool in some, in the cosmic play? And if so, to what purpose? Disconnected the microwave oven. Just in case. Feeling absolute terror at the possibility that there's no purpose. No rhyme, no reason to any of it. Why me? December 16th. The only way I can help him is if I break the rules. It will come at a price, but what do I care if I can rise above it all? Two rules that are universal rules. Time, space. If broken, above it all, and doom. What? Saw her lifeless body. She is beautiful even in death. Have been crying ever since. It all seems so needless, so cruel. Ready for anything. Don't care anymore. It's finally here. The last one. Woke up with this in my palm. It's a half circle filled in. Tried to wash it out. It's a tattoo. Tested them in all different kinds of combinations, but I cannot figure out how to do it. I must sleep. I will open that box tomorrow. Of course, so simple. Rotate the wheel and release when the symbol aligns with the grim in the order they were delivered to me. But why was it empty? Rotate the wheel and release when the symbol aligns with the grim. December 21st. I thought it was Daniel all along. I thought he was here, but it, can, it cannot have been he who sent me the password. It doesn't make sense. The box was empty. It means it must be filled. I still do not understand who sent the symbols. If it was not the boy, then it must have been the watchers. But why are they toying with us, helping us in some perverse, twisted way? From the get-go, he was doomed. They got him at the very thought of year walking. But I think the girl can be saved. I put everything he needs in the box and locked it. I will leave it where I found it, where all of this started. If my mind is set on this, does it mean that I am doomed too? December 25th. The rift is open. It wants me to go through. Pack my things. I wonder if I will come back. December 27th. Just a picture of a building. Maybe the church. December 28th. Picture of the windmill. December 30th. Picture of the cabin. December 31st. Soul sorting. It's cold here. Wish I could light a fire, but I must do it right. Surprised how calm I feel. Only hours remain. January 1st. It's midnight. In the order I received them? Ah, oh, so... Hold on a second. October 8th and 30th. November 19th. October 8th 
is triangle with the point down. October 30th is the half circle flat side to the left. November, was it 11th? Your walk equals 19th, November 19th. Square. Uh, was there another one? The symbol on his hand with the half moon. So, triangle with the point down. Half circle, flat side left. Square. Half circle, flat side up. Does the left, right, left, right matter? Is there another one? What am I missing? Rotate the wheel and release when the symbol aligns with the grim in the order they were delivered to me. But why was empty? So I did four symbols. So there should be five symbols. The symbol aligns with the grim in the order they were delivered to me. So maybe I don't even let go, but I have to end on the grim. So that's that's the half circle pointing up is the last one. So what did I miss? The first one we see is a triangle. October 30th, half symbol, half circle. So that's clearly, I mean, that's the second one. So the wooden doll. I guess it would be triangle. The half circle would be the horse and the baby. Maybe it's like both of those but opposites. Square. So maybe it's two half circles. Triangle, half circles, square. Shapes are the same as on the box. Tried the symbols. There must be more coming. So that's three symbols. Four if you count the half circle going the opposite direction, but... Wait. This painting has the triangle pointing up. Is that a symbol? Is that the fourth one? Triangle pointing up. Let's try it. So, and let me try holding this. So, first was triangle pointing down. Half circle. Square. Triangle pointing up. Half circle up. Oh, come on. Is it to the right first? Triangle. Did I do that? Like. No, it's triangle pointing down. Triangle pointing down. Uh. Half circle left. Square, triangle pointing up, this one, oh, it's something, it's one of those, what is it? Do I get a hint? Prologue? Someone waits at the windmill, oh, okay, so that's just that. No, it's something, what is it? What is it? I'm, I feel like I'm right there. It, it, is it a matter of, like, when to release it? 
is it actually the triangle pointing up or is it the half circles because the horse and the baby were kind of the same? The last symbol. So that is the last symbol. Tested them in all different kinds of combinations. Rotate the wheel. It doesn't say which way. And release when the symbol aligns with the grim. In the order they were delivered to me. I don't know if you gotta go left or right. Down triangle. Half circle. Square. Triangle pointing up. Oh, shoot! I did it. Vedtorp murderer executed. Christian Christianstad, January 21st. Yesterday morning, Vedtorp killer Daniel Svensson was executed at Christianstad prison. He was found guilty for the heinous murder of young Stina Nilsson last year. The death sentence has been criticized by the highly renowned Dr. Helmer Lundbeck, who stated that Daniel is suffering from an abnormal psyche. He seems to have problems discerning past from present and has visions of terrible creatures. Death sentence has been criticized. Suffering. So Helmer was defending him. Something not uncommon among schizophrenics. Daniel cannot be held accountable for his actions and should be given treatment at an institution for the criminally insane. The execution was performed by Gustav Dahlberg. This was his fourth execution. Last year, he was to perform the execution of the notorious Lisa Rasmussen, who was charged with the murder of four infants in Vedtorp, but who took her own life before the sentence could be carried out. Security has been improved greatly since. Daniel Svensson was composed during the whole process. Besides the slightly shaking hands so common among the criminal type, you cannot tell Daniel from any other young men. He sobbed loudly once when he laid his head down low, but quickly regained his composure. A quick prayer and a swift, powerful stroke, and it was over. According to the attending priest, Granath, Daniel's last words were, I should have killed myself, then none of this would have happened. You are long dead when I write this, and I have not yet been born. Yet we have a connection beyond life, death, space, and time. The impossible made possible by year walking. But the watchers always win. Even though you've not passed through the rift yet, they sense the urge, and they want their sacrifice. I wish there could be another way. I'm sorry. But for her, there's still hope. You can save her. You know what you must do. Save her? How? By killing Daniel? <gasps> or killing myself. Daniel Svensson. No, this music is different. Oh, what? Is there another ending? There's, there's got to be an ending where it shows you saving her, right? But I don't know 
don't know how I would do that. it walk again Is this box gonna be open now? No. I feel like there's more because I have not gotten any achievements. The owls sing a song that they learned in the lobby of a castle on a remote island. There's a whole bunch of clues there that would take me much longer to figure out than I would care to admit. There's, there's a bit more to discover here. There's some clues. What's happening? Oh. That was Year Walk. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. This was certainly interesting. I feel like there's more to discover. I don't think I have the time to discover it all, but let me know if you've played this game and if you found all the secrets. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.